Thank you, Gabrielle. And some coaches and county residents in Cochise County are making their voices heard loud and clear. They want a hand count of all ballots cast in the upcoming general election. And they want the Board of Supervisors to overrule a state law saying it's against the law to hand count. News for Tucson's Lupita Murillo just stepped out of a meeting there that's been taking place, and she brings us the very latest. Lupita. Sean, I can tell you that when this meeting got started at 2 o'clock this afternoon, there was only standing room only in the meeting behind me. As you can see, the meeting is still going on. There was an overflow in the lobby where I'm standing. Yeah, now, even me. before the Board of Supervisors began hearing from the citizens, the board chair told everyone that this was not a rally and for everyone holding signs to hold them up now and not during the meeting. Some of the issues brought up by both sides, machines are accurate, machines aren't accurate. If there's a hand count, it's going to cost taxpayers more money. And what is the problem of double checking the ballots cast? Here's what some residents had to say. I'm definitely against requiring the hand count. Um, it's been proven that the automated counts work really, really accurately, very fast, efficiently, not expensively. I feel like we just need some election integrity right now. Everybody's a little bit on the edge and everybody wants to make sure that our f elections are fair. No idea when this meeting will end, but we will be here and we will give you the latest information as soon as we get it. Reporting live from Cochise County, Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson.